Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design elevated, reinforced concrete slabs in RAM concept. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed the preliminary calculation, we've reviewed our analysis results, and we're ready to move on to our design results. Specifically, in this video, we're going to take a look at how the program determines the program reinforcement after the calculation is performed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point your attention to the design rules criteria. Now RAM concept uses the design strips to link the finite element analysis with the concrete code rules, which is performed according to a multi-step process. After the design is performed, we can also review the code minimum design reinforcement plans for each of those code rules. To access that information, select the Layers menu bar item, select Rule Set Designs, and then you can go to your Code Minimum Design and select your Reinforcement Plan. Now RAM Concept has generated a reinforcement plan for each Rule Set Design that is defined in the criteria. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the reinforcement plan that's available in the design status layers. To access that, let's go to the layers menu bar item, select design status, and then select your reinforcement plan. Now the design status reinforcement plan is a preliminary design that will report an envelope of the reinforcement for the design rule sets at any given section. It's important to understand at this point that the length of the bars and the end anchorage condition are not included in the status plan. Now that we understand our preliminary reinforcement layouts that are both available through our rule set designs and our design status, let's go ahead and review the program reinforcement that was generated by RAM Concept through the calculation. To access that information, let's go to the Layers menu bar item and let's go with the reinforcement option. Plans within the reinforcement folder will show you the program reinforcement that's generated by RAM Concept in addition to any specified user reinforcement. Let's go ahead and select the bottom bars plan at this point. So here I'll be able to see all of the program reinforcement at the bottom of the slab that was detailed through the calculation. At this point in my design process, I don't have any user reinforcement specified, so the only reinforcement that we're seeing is the program reinforcement. Now how does this differ from the other plans that we just took a look at? Notice that the length of the bars and your end anchored conditions will be considered when you take a look at your reinforcement plans from the reinforcement folder. Now at this point we've gone ahead and reviewed our program reinforcement and we're ready to go ahead and move on in our design process which may include customizing or modeling your own user reinforcement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.